Hello and welcome to another video on Power BI and R. In this video, we are going to create a Gantt chart, which looks like this, which actually shows the work items on the left hand side, the start date and end date, and also the vertical line, which shows the progress as of today. And you can define your today as a date. So let's get started. The first thing to do is to get the code ready. And this is a working Gantt chart. And I'm going to create a new Gantt chart so that we know how to do it from scratch. So let's create a new tab in Power BI. And now drag an R chart like this. But when you drag an R chart, you notice that the R script area is disabled. So you got to drag some, some data field at least onto the R chart so that suddenly it gets enabled. And we don't really need that code so we can delete that. So we are now ready to write our script. So let's start writing our script here. We need these three packages, Tibble, ggplot2, and dplyr. And then we would need some sample data. So the sample data would consist of the work items and the start date and the duration of each work item so that how long it's going to take to finish. And then also another column which will give us a status. So whether it's a complete work item has been completed or it's still not complete. So I'm using Tribble to create a row wise data which makes it a bit easier. I've actually spaced it out so that it gives you a clear visual indication. Otherwise, there's no need to put so many spaces. So this is our first line, second line, and the remaining lines. So you can see, I'm just going to format it so that it makes a bit clear visual appearance in the sense so that you can understand it. Otherwise, you don't need to put or format it properly the way I'm actually doing just to show you. So in our data, we have a column called stage and a start date and then number of days or how long it's going to take and then a complete or incomplete status. So with that, we can get our sample data. We would need to make some more adjustments or transformation to our data. For example, we would need to convert this character date into an actual date. So I'm using as date command to convert it into a proper date. Because we're going, also going to do a date calculation. So we need a proper date to, for that. So the next one would be to create the duration saying start date plus the days that will give us the end of that work item. So how long it's going to take. So we have the start date and end date. The next step would be to convert this data into a long data using the pivot longer command. And before our script gets any complicated, let's open this in an RStudio instance. So clicking this, this button would take us to an RStudio uh, instance, and then we have our script. I've removed the first two lines which are not needed. So we have everything which we wrote in our, in our system, and this is how the melted data or the long, long pivot longer data would look like. So the advantage of coming into an R studio and doing our script here is that you can actually test each and every item. Otherwise, it's hard to test when you're working within the Power BI environment. Now let's create our first ggplot chart. So I'm using df.melt as the data and we've supplied the x value and the y value and also the color. And it's going to be a job line chart. And the x would be the value from our data set, which is the start and the end dates. And stage is the Y value. Stage is the name of each work item. And the color is coming from the complete column, which indicates yes or no, whether the item has been completed or not. And it's going to be a job line chart with a size of 14, so that the line actually looks like a, a bar, a thicker line. So we have our first Gantt chart ready already. So let's make some more changes to that. I'm adding a job point. So now you see that suddenly there's a, a circle or a point with a size of 14 on both sides, on the starting side as well as on the ending side. Now let's add some text to our bars so that we have a starting date and ending date. So I'm using the JOM text 
and the label is going to be the formatted date with the month and V justification pushes the text bit up. So let's run this and you would see that we have a chart which has the start date and the end date. So let me format this in a better way so you can see it very clearly. Okay, so that makes sense now. Now let's add a progress bar to our chart. So progress bar is nothing but a vertical line and X intercept for that would be today's date and I've defined the color and the size for that. So if I run this, hopefully we should get something. But no, we haven't got anything. And the reason for that is our today date doesn't coincide with the starts and end of this whole chart. So if we want that line to be changed, let's change our date there. So I'm going to change this as April 2023. And if I run it now, you see that there is a vertical progress bar. And you can obviously change it each time you run your chart so that you have the actual date shown each time. And I'm just using the theme classic to make it a bit more clearer, something like this. So now it's looking proper. Now let's fix the labels also. So I'll actually create a caption at the bottom and change the X label to date and Y label to items. And if we try to run our script now, you would see that the X axis and the Y axis labels have changed. And then we also have a caption on the right hand side at the bottom. You would notice that we have a legend which is being shown on the right hand side. So if we set the legend dot position equals none, this will vanish. Like this. And now let's change the, the colors. So I'm going to use these two colors instead of the normal blue and red which is being shown. So you can see that our custom colors are now showing up. Now let's create a dual axis so that we have the dates as well as the week numbers being shown. We have a full scale video on, on, on the dual axis if you want to watch it. So we have scale x date and the name of our scale is dates. The date labels are going to be this and then the date breaks are going to be one week and minor breaks one day. And the second axis is going to be the week numbers and this will be the formatted as the week number. So let's see what it does. Okay, so we have the axis there. At the bottom showing the dates in a proper format and on the top showing the week numbers in a proper format. So everything looks proper now. Remember, we're going to do this in Power BI. So we'll have to copy this and go to Power BI and paste it in our Power BI script editor. So now we can run this script by pressing this run button. And there we have our Gantt chart. I'm just going to resize it. So if I refresh it or rerun it again, it will occupy the whole area again. Looks good. We, we can actually go and modify this chart further using the Power BI options. So we can set the, the caption, the heading and the subheading can be set up and so many variables can be changed to fine-tune the look and feel of this chart. So after we make some more changes to our chart by setting the heading, subheading and different color options, This is how the chart would finally look like. I hope you found this information useful and practical. 
Thank you very much for watching this video and remember to watch our other series on Power BI as well. And we have lots of video on data analytics and geoanalytics as well. Thank you very much.